Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with AC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I wanted to go over one of the features that I really like about QuickBooks Online. Now they have just updated this feature, so let me go ahead and show you. Let's get started. <music> I'm talking about the search function. I really like the search function. It has helped me uh, get to transactions a lot faster. Now, they do have an updated uh, version of the search function. Um, so let's take a look at it and see what it can do and how it can help us. So it doesn't look, it, it didn't used to look like this. This is brand new. Um, I went into it today and I saw that they moved things around, but the way they did it, it's a lot easier to look for information. Now let's start with, um, the type of transactions you can search and you can actually search for everything in QuickBooks, um, to paychecks, journal entries, transfers, sales receipts, reverse charge, um, Pretty much every transaction that you post in QuickBooks, you can search. And you can also search by contact. So you can click on a customer, let's say, and it will give you the transactions just for that customer or that vendor, I believe. Yep, here we go. The vendors are down below. And if you click on oh, that, that one doesn't have any transactions. Let's go back to a vendor. We can see here. Let's try a different vendor. If we click on Cal Telephone, it will search everything for Cal Telephone. It can also search uh, by amount. So if we know that one transaction is for a certain amount, we can type it in and it will bring that transaction. Another thing that I like about this is that I can even search memos and um, reference numbers, um, which is like the invoice number or bill number. So I can type in here whatever. If I remember something that I put like in a bill or an expense or a check, like in the memo or anywhere, I can put it in. So if I click, if I type in coffee, it will bring up the transaction that holds that word. And in this case, um, it, there's coffee in the memo. So I encourage you to take a look and uh, kind of play around with this. This is actually a really cool feature that can save you time in looking for transactions. I hope that this has helped. Please don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.